Hello everyone, John Neal here. It's uh, Thursday the 30th of September 2021 and I'm going to continue my little series of photography tips and today we're looking at pattern. Now, before we go much further, let me just say these different elements I've done colour and uh, texture and now pattern, they don't exist necessarily all on their own. They may dominate a particular picture, but you often see them combined together. So keep that in mind. Um, the patterns, um, I think it's this repeated motif idea. Uh, the, the repetitiveness might be in a line, it might be uh, circular it might be uh, spiral or possibly even just random. So shall we have a look at a few examples? So the next issue is how do we incorporate these elements of pattern into a photograph or an image? I, actually, I'm not quite sure whether I'm calling them images, snaps, photos, um, whatever comes to mind. I'll stick with photos for now. Uh, so how do we incorporate them? Well, we've got to go back really to the original idea that I put out was composition. You've got the pattern in there, and let's just look back on some of these to see how I might have composed them, particularly using the thirds and the lines going into the picture. Here we have a window set in the beautiful uh, stonework of this wall of a building in the Lake District. And you'll notice I've put the window in one of the thirds. If I put it in the middle like this, it wouldn't have looked quite as good. Here we have a pattern of the shadows of the roof timbers going into the picture, leading your eye in. And I've positioned them so they lead you to a point in the top left hand corner. This is a scene from Menorca in the Mediterranean. I'm quite fond of taking pictures of shops and the goods that they display in these belts in Italy just look really marvellous and just fill the whole frame with all the belts. Um, yeah, very pleasing. Here you've just got the repeated image of the boats going into the distance. And uh, yeah, the textures and colours are great. And look at this chap in the red looking down into them. Just adds a little bit to it. Now is this colour, lines, pattern, texture? I think it's the whole lot thrown in. But notice the hole in the wood I've put just to one side, which I think helps with the composition. I can never walk past a stack of logs without taking a photo. If there is a particular feature that brings your eye in, all well and good. Otherwise, just take the picture. This is a wall built out of flint in Norfolk, England. And the contrast between the textures from the grass at the bottom, the flint, and then the reeds at the back and the sky, just make for quite a pleasing photograph. This is still in Norfolk and look we have a wonderful contrast between the brick, uh, the inset, flint stones and the smoothness of the door. 
just square on makes a nice picture. And finally, two examples from nature, this beautiful bright green fern is just full of patterns which just catches the eye. And then so many flowers produce beautiful patterns and this dahlia is just magnificent. There you have it, a uh, pattern in photography. I hope that was useful. Um, it's quite a powerful element really, isn't it? Uh, now then, uh, subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, do it because it makes me very happy. Um, it would be good, yeah, do it, yeah, yeah, subscribe. Okay, I will see you or you will see me next time. Okie doke, see you then, bye bye.